Essence of an artist. Follow your dream. Lauren Ellis. An auto bio of her art, poetry, and life. A book and documentary. An inspirational book and film. Offering helpful, fun ideas with sincere credibility. Jump in and explore. Don't be afraid. It's an open door. Sincerity. Sincerity is a secret key to open the path to the contented sea. But to be sincere, one must have strength in one's career to face the hypocrisy and conspiracies. Life, lift above this strong pull. Let the soul discover the goal. Live with one face, one conviction. See the many faces in the crowd and stand proud. For with one true identity, one finds true sincerity and the vast mysteries of the sea of society becomes a refuge for variety to the one with sincerity. The documentary chapter page is titled Documentary, A Mirror of My Book. Life is a dream bubble. Lauren writes, what is creativity? It's best not to define. Stay open to discovery. Ask me why I create art, not how I create art. How did this Herculean book and film project began. Not my idea by far. Early 2016, my mother made her transition to heaven and I became very depressed. Then a mysterious course of events happened. It's time for your next book. People drift through one's life for a reason. I listen. She is famous for a work that is absolutely unusual. My work is complicated technically, and most people think that, that they're paintings or lithographs. It's called time passages. I coin it photographic painting. It's very difficult technically. A, a reputation for doing something that no one else, I don't believe anyone else is doing. No. It's unique. Yes. Commissions Johnson & Johnson, Temple Electric Company, I'm from Florida. We'll roll the video and you can talk okay, as we sounds play great. the pretty pictures. As we take a look at her works. She has some great pieces there. She's Thank a very you. gifted young lady. Thank you. A video portfolio, unique in 1987. Lauren nurtures the pioneer attitude, the magic she creates. Here we are in my studio in Hell's Kitchen. I got off the subway. In a diary-like format, Lauren invites you into her world to show you ways to tap into your creativity. An interactive book you can read forever. My yellow cloth, the golden mean, my yellow cloth came to me unseen. Many years passed, or did I dream it to be? Golden mean, from Aristotle's time to now, beauty and truth to be seen. Aristotle's golden mean. Seeking balance, no excess. It's here to stay, the best. With my soul, together a bowl. My yellow inspiration. My silken cloth and pure energy. Floating, changing shape in infinite ways. Everything grows. Nature, truth, helps us glow. Go for what you want. Japanese proverb. We fall seven times, we get up, and we fall the eighth. If we don't try, we'll never succeed. An absolute must-read for all ages. Spontaneous, I believe, is the most truthful action. And I think it keeps kind of a freshness in your work when you think that way. It's always a little nerve-wracking, too. You gotta have a good night's sleep. Yes and no. Right and wrong. But there's no right if there's no wrong. There's no light if there's no dark. It's all good. A mistake or a miracle? Is it a mistake or a miracle? Or just a change of direction? I get kind of into a zone and it's kind of cool. Mistakes are something that can lead you into a new direction. We all have to not be afraid to make mistakes. My finished art pieces never torn or thrown away. There are no lies. It's up to you. Sometimes I put it away and come back to it another day. Okay. I'm Bob Reed. Welcome to the Art of Living Gallery. Here's Lauren on the power of art. I try to keep the childlike in my personality. So when I do my art, it's important to be fresh. Look at something like you just saw it for the first time. When I do my photographic painting, there's a magic that happens in the dark room, and there's an energy that I call my angels come down and they do something.
When I saw the space, I fell in love with it. It was amazing. I'm square, and how can I share the space? But we had a gallery. So a lot of artists got a lot of exposure and learned a lot. Warren Ellis is one of the most generous people I've ever met, and I've met a lot of people, and I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. But she's a giver, and the world needs a lot of healing. Everybody does, all of us do. Lauren really does help that. I'll vouch for that also. So lucky to be with all these talented artists. We're all together on this. We're all supporting each other. But Lauren supports the artist and the artist's soul. Art for Healing retired in 2022. It was a great 22 years. Lauren Ellis, uh, founder of Art for Healing, curator of tonight's Visions of Variety event. We support the visual and performing arts. Atlantis, NYC, Florida, 1989. Plato writes, Atlantis did exist. Only footprints left? We must cherish Mother Earth. Quiet. Quiet, not motionless. Mysterious. Boundary is unknown. Think. Quiet. Create rhythm. Walk. The back cover. Rescue Earth, 1993. Visit LaurenEllisArt.com to purchase this inspirational full-color art and poetry book and check out the flipping book for free. You can purchase her new book from online bookstores such as Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Goodreads, Gotham Bookstores, and more. A book and documentary.